Libra, what a goddamn Libra. You know, I already know it's Scorpion Rays. Listen, you guys, this is my second time trying to record y'all video. Let me just tell y'all, I am going to make sure that I post the first recording because I got interrupted by my father and y'all know I'm a perfectionist. I do not like people interrupting my videos. I don't like phone calls. I don't like noises. But I'm a mother. Shit happens. So sometimes I just delete, scrap, and redo. But I'm not going to redo. I mean, I'm going to redo this. But y'all have to see this fucking video, Libra. Oh, my God, y'all. Oh, my goodness. You freaking guys. What in thine fuck is going on? I have no idea. Let me go get my cleanse, y'all. Listen. Cause we about to cleanse this here energy over these cards real quick. Let me get my single bowl, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Excuse. Y'all just take deep breaths. Let y'all chakras be cleansed real quick. Okay, I'm sorry y'all had to do that because I'm trying to tell y'all that energy. I was like, Libra, what is going on? Okay, this okay. I, I don't have time for all the pleasantries and stuff. Y'all already know if y'all need to contact me. Um, all my links is in the about tab. Uh, make sure that y'all like this video. If this video resonates, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much to everyone in supporting. My booking page is down. So if you want to book with me, just send me a message on Instagram or on Google Hangouts. My email is uh, scorpionrez at gmail.com. Or y'all could just email me. Let's get into the prayer. Get into the reading, you guys, because I'm interested to see what the heck is going on. Father God, thank you so much for this revision, for allowing me this time to sit here and dedicate my energy to Libra. Um, I feel like there's some real deep going on in mid-August. Please allow me um, to sort through this so I can be able to give Libra the most accurate and, you know, a helpful message uh, possible. Please use me as a vessel to be able to spread your word and spread your light and spread your wisdom, Father God. Please give Libra guidance for August the 15th through the 31st. And thank you again, Father God, for all your blessings and lessons in the past, present, and future, Father God. Please give us guidance for my Libras. Thank you. All right. Let's get into this. Woo! Mmm. Y'all. Y'all had Nina Simone and Tina Turner last time. Oh, this is a new deck, y'all. Shout out to everyone who's been sending um, love and support to the page. Um, if this, these videos resonate at any point in time and you want to support the page, of course, number one way to support the page is by clicking that like button and subscribing. Um, if the spirit moves you to want to do more, in my about tab, you'll see my PayPal, my cash app. Oh, that's too much. You'll see my PayPal, my cash app, and my Amazon wish list. Um, someone sent me this deck through the Amazon wish list. Thank you guys so much. I got John Cage. So it says, don't fall in love with your first idea. Surrender to change. All great art contains at its center com contemplation. All great art contains at its center contemplation. Oh, okay. I get it. Give me one more. Mm. Edith Piaf. Piaf. I don't know if I'm. Edith Piaf. I think I'm saying her name right. It says. What the fuck? Live with every fiber of your beaver. Weaponize your flaws. Knee. Re re I don't know what the fuck this bitch saying at the top. Okay, what's she saying? What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? Only thing I know this bitch says, she says, live with every fiber of your being. Weaponize your flaws. Who is she? She must be speaking some different goddamn different language anyway. So don't fall in love with your first idea. Surrender to change. All great art contains a center of contemplation. And 
Live within every fiber of your being. Weaponize your flaws. I like those two messages, y'all. What I'm saying, don't fall in love with the first. Thing. Like, okay, so you know, like how your mother said, "It ain't your first. It that's your first boyfriend, but it ain't gonna be your last." You know, so that's basically what they're saying. And weaponize your flaws, like whatever it is that you feel like is something that you need to work on. Work on it so much that it becomes your strength. You know what I'm saying? So turn your your weaknesses into your strength. You know what I'm saying? Where it's like literally you can use that as a weapon now to defend yourself something that which was your weakness. Give me guidance for my Libras for mid-August. What is this? Justice. The Empress in reverse. And the Two of Swords in reverse. There go those two men again. The star in reverse. I feel like a... Okay, and there was something about babies as well. I feel like a baby is like overdue. So here go this thing with these two men again. So in the last reading, it was like, I didn't understand it at first. I was very, very confused. Because I felt like, I don't know what the fuck I was feeling. That last reading was very fucking confused. Because it started out one way, but then as the Lenormand cards and everything started coming out, it started making more sense. And it seemed like there was a battle between two. And that's basically what I'm seeing here still. This justice card. They go to Libra, uh, the Libra scale. You know what I'm saying? So you're having to make karmic, a karmic decision. You have to make some type of karmic balance here. I feel like there's two different individuals in your life that you're having to make a decision and come to some type of balance in the terms with you got one that's well off and then one that's a beggar and that's poor. Um, and I'm going to be honest, I feel like the one that you've been going through all of the drama and stuff with is the poor one. And then you got someone that's a little bit better equipped to take care of you. But both of them are literally kneeling, you know, waiting for your favor for you to kind of make a decision between the two. This Empress in the reverse in the last reading, there was a pregnant woman and um, there was waiting. There was waiting and it had something to do with letters and all of this stuff. I I'm urge you guys to go back and look at that because it might have to do with some paternity test or something like that. I really do feel like it had something to do with someone waiting for like a letter or something for for the justice system to give like paternity. To give paternity. And I do feel like with this Empress in the reverse, there was a lot of stress on the mother in regards to whatever the decision because I feel like this woman possibly doesn't know what the outcome of these results are going to be this woman was at a crossroad as well and then star in reverse this is someone and then there was a level of guilt and someone being and feeling ashamed of a decision that they had made that it put them in a mental crossroad into a mental bind where they were confused where they were feeling insecure where they were feeling kind of an emotional rut and I in that pressure was on the child was on the child and I feel like that's why if some of you guys are pregnant that there might be a overdue pregnancy or something like that because it said something about issues with third party stress on someone where they ended up being sick and bedridden, that they needed to take it easy, that they needed to slow down. And a lot of this stuff has to do with your mental thoughts. The star in reverse, this is someone that has lost hope, that has lost faith, that they're not thinking positively, that they are <clears throat> lost touch with their spiritual foundation. Like they really, really feel like everything has fallen <laughs> on them at the worst point in time in their life and it's just like 
not saying that you don't believe in God, but it's just like, if God was around, shit wouldn't be like this. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like, if some like so much shit is going on in this person's life, if someone just be like, oh, you know, everything is okay, just pray. And you'd be like, man, fuck prayer. That shit ain't helping nothing right now. You understand what I'm saying? So, like, that's how it is right now for this person. I feel like this person is having to make a very hard and a very tough decision where it is putting a lot of pressure on their pregnancy or whatever they're expecting or, um, it's, it has a lot to do with something that's going to impact the balance of their family. I feel like there's a decision or there's some type of judgment and in, in, in that was made between two different people that is going to, you know, create balance here. That's going to have where justice is going to be served. Justice is going to be served, but I feel it's going to impact this empress in a way it's going to impact this empress in a way that might make her a little bit uncomfortable because she's going to have to speak up and take that blindfold off and to implement whatever this decision is between these two people. And I, and I feel like for a long time, this woman had this blindfold on, like she didn't see, like she didn't know what to do and she didn't know how to act with the star in the verse. But it's ending off here with this nine of pentacles. Like this woman is going to end up single. This woman is going to end up single and actually going to be able to. It's like this woman is going to come off better. It's like it, this situation is going to come off. It's like justice is going to end off in her favor where she's going to end up getting some type of financial benefits out of whatever this situation is with. The pregnancy, her being able to take care of her home, and think there, there's going to be some balance here. There's going to be some balance here. Let me get some more information. Let me get some more information. Because I really do feel like with that don't fall in love with your first idea, I feel like you guys put so many of your eggs in one basket with the poor one with the one that couldn't provide you anything with the one that couldn't do anything and justice is coming to make you surrender to change like regardless if it's making you uncomfortable because i feel like right now your home is in a disarray and things is just not comfortable for you even right now throughout your pregnancy if there's some of you guys that are expecting a, a baby like it's just some of you guys might have been bedridden. Some of you guys might have had a lot of stress and pressure on you where you couldn't move around and do things that you didn't want to do. I mean, that you that you wanted to do because you... I feel like you guys were in a deep fuck of denial and were not acting the part. You were not acting in the way that you know that you should have been acting. But some justice and some karmic balance. And I feel like an end to something, like, it's like by force or like a judgment by court order something happened even though it made you uncomfortable it made you snatch that blindfold off so that you can make a clear decision and whoever this was in this court chastised you and told you that you're not being the star that you should have been that you should be acting that you are successful and you secure without all of this drama and I need you to act I need you to act the part. I need you to be the empress that you are being. Like, you're allowing this to... What is this? Johnny Cash. The, um... The King of Diamonds. The con Johnny Cash is like... And the Ten of Diamonds. Okay. So, Johnny Cash is like account executive this is someone that has something to do with money and high intellect and knowledge and like this is someone that you will come to for advice and to help you figure out how to manage your assets and things of that nature and that lead belly right there in that joker card okay so this judge is coming to you 
I feel like this has something to do with possibly a divorce. Like you're getting justice, a karmic balance in a divorce. Now I'm feeling someone was left with the kids. And they were left in a situation where they were struggling financially and they were uncomfortable. Especially if this is a woman that was expecting a pregnancy and that you went through this pregnancy alone. Like you were suffering. Um, you were not acting... I believe you put yourself through unnecessary struggle because you kept allowing this person to disrespect you and get away with certain shit. I feel like the judge right here, this Johnny Cash, he's looking at both of you guys and he's specifically saying something to you, the Empress. Like, you allowed this to happen. You sat there and you... So this, this, this judge is not really taking too much pity on you. He's not taking too much pity on you. But at the same time, you're going to get... You're going to get whatever money. You're going to get whatever it is that you deserve. But this judge is looking at you and, and talking to you and like, I need if that, that's what you feel like you deserve. I need you to hold yourself to a higher standard. And that's why this their belly is sitting there kind of with that shock face, you know, because this is success and completion in whatever this was that you were trying to deal with in court in matters of court with this ex-husband with this child's father or whoever this is that this judge is telling you that number one i feel like that maybe some of you guys are not working or something like that they're trying to tell you that you need to go get a better job like you need to stand up and take care of yourself and be the star and be the star that you are don't allow no man to come and cause no disruption and disarray. And they're telling you, yes, I'm giving you this judgment. This, You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to get your justice right here. But this money or whatever this is, is not to take care of you. It's to take care of your children. Like, you need to go out there and get your own job and learn how to take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? This Joker card in the... I mean, this is like the Joker card in the reverse, the Fool card in the reverse. Like, they're going to tell you, like... You need to step your faith up. You need to go out there and be more active and try to take care of yourself on your own. You can't just sit back and wait for this person to pay you money to help you take care of your kids. And like, I'm, I'm sorry, like, this is what I'm getting. Like, this is like a non-active joker card. This is like starving artist type of thing like that. It's like someone that just wants to sit back and do their work and don't uh, uh i mean like their art or like say like this is a someone that wants to be a hairdresser or someone that wants to make clothes or whatever it is and it's there like yeah you can make clothes you could do all that stuff but you need a nine to five job too you know what i'm saying like you can't just be going out there having babies and just think that men are going to you just take these men to court and they're going to take care of you like you're more capable to do more in your life than just, just sit here and have babies. Do you understand what I'm saying? And no offense to nobody, but this is what I'm, I mean. This Johnny Cash is not going to play with you. And they're very direct in let, letting you know how they feel. That sacral chakra, they're very blunt about how they feel. Do you understand? So, and you can look at his face and this is right under the judge. And that's what I'm saying. That you, you're going to end up getting the payout and everything that you want and everything but not without you getting a check and you getting the tongue lashing about you not having enough faith in yourself and your ability and getting up off your ass and doing what you need to do for yourself do you understand like that's what this person that's why this that's why this two of swords is in the reverse that's why this empress is in the reverse an empress in the reverse is can mean could be downright be to someone that's letting their body go, that's not bathing, not keeping their hygiene, not keeping their house clean. Like the Empress is someone that likes nice fabrics, nice furniture. Like you can have like old clothes, like old like furniture, like you need to make over your house, you need to make over yourself, you need to do your hair, like your kids could be walking around looking bummy. Like that's the Empress in reverse. And like that's no disrespect. Please go and look it up. It'll tell you 
what the Empress in reverse means. What that means. The star card in the reverse is someone that does not know their own strength, their own ability, that don't believe in itself, that is lost touch with faith, that does not have any hope, that doesn't have any belief in their self. Do you understand what I'm saying? And this being at the end, this judge is giving you, is like checking you on this shit. And it's telling you that you're more than this. Yes, I'm giving you what you deserve. You're getting justice. But at the same time, I need you to do better. I need you to do better. Give me guidance right here on the start and reversing this um, nine of pentacles. It's like you are you could be stable and successful on your own, like without all of this. And this could also be someone that is having more babies than they can afford to have. And you and the judge is telling you that too. What is this? The two of diamonds. Joni Mitchell never lied. You know, so this is intellectual conversations that this judge is having with you. You know? This judge is having this conversation with you and literally giving you some wisdom. And I really do look at her face. She's a little bit shocked. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, huh? Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you about you. I know that you're bringing them to court so that I could check them about what they did to you. But I'm checking you about you. You're better than this. And you know that you're better than this. What is this? Yeah. So, this is someone that, with this nine of space, we got the nine of space, the ace of hearts, and then the nine of clubs as well. Blind to the bullshit. You understand what I'm saying? Like, listen, both of these are two blind cards. These are two blind men. Two blind men. So, this woman... It's like, this judge is telling this woman, it's like, you allowed matters of the heart. You allowed matters of the heart to affect your finances and your career and how you moved through life and how you believed in yourself and how you worked and how the world worked for you. You understand? Because at the end of the day, you have to teach the world how to work for you by showing the world how much you love in yourself and how much you believe in yourself. If you, this is all you believe in yourself. If you can't make rash decisions, if you don't have any faith and you, you know what I'm saying? The world is going to give you exactly what you're feeding to yourself. So at the end of the day, like, I'm sorry that you had to take the losses and you had to go through the battles that you did but you needed to go through this so that you could understand that you are what you eat you are what you eat you get back what you present to the world so you can sit over here and act like you completely blind like you don't understand and you don't see that the decisions that you made in love impacted your success in business and your career and your foundations you know, you can't bring people to court and expect me to check them without checking you. I'm here to check all of y'all and balance all of y'all. Balance the karmic skills all the way together. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. People can only do what you allow them to do. And at the end of the day, people can do whatever the fuck they want to do. But it's about how you react and it's about how you would let it affect you. And this is how you would let it affect you. You know, look, blind blind acting like you don't see shit you you know why spirit is saying this you know why spirit is saying this you know why spirit is saying this and you're better than this you are better than this and that's why he looking at you like that look at his face that's why he looking at y'all like that so like don't be stunned <laughs> don't be stunned and confused like it's time for you to get Put your foot on the gas and it's time for you to really take some action and stop this starving artist shit. Like, I really do feel like 
some of y'all is on some starving artist thing, but he ain't do this. He no, like no, you need to do that shit for yourself. The nine of pentacles, she take care of herself. She don't wait for nobody to do anything. Successful entrepreneur, boss bitch. You understand what I'm saying? She don't wait for nobody to do anything. She wants the best. She expects the best. So, yeah. This is lost due to, like, heartbreak. Like, major losses. Taking major L's. Where it's impacting the way you move forward and really showing you that you need to change and close cycles so that things can move forward for the better. And it's something that you really didn't want to do, but you got to do it. You understand what I'm saying? It's something that you really didn't want to do, but you got to do it in order for things to get better. You can't let love stagnate and blind you. You can't allow, you know what I'm saying, the things that's going on in your personal life affect your business to where it's, all, it's putting a dark cloud around everything and you act like you don't see it. You have to be successful. You have to be blind to the bullshit and never let things like this impact your foundation. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is someone that's being blind to all of the bullshit, have an understanding that that shit, I cannot allow this to affect my ability of how I work and how I create and the abundance that I bring into my life. You understand what I'm saying? There was like almost a willing, a willing blindness to love. Like, you knew what was going on, but you acted like you didn't see it. And it's like a willingness to do that and just let shit happen and that's not no uh uh mm -mm. laugh now cry later give me guidance about this what is this the sun yeah you starting to get some peace some tranquility a lot of things have been illuminated to you about yourself and about self change the star yeah you seen a lot of signs and I really do feel like you have an inspiration and your your faith is picking up. Like you really starting to believe a little bit more um, now that you're seeing things kind of changing. The mice, the whip. Yeah. You've most definitely had to get rid of a lot of things because you you you've been getting you spiritually been getting your ass whooped and you've been going through a lot of chaos and there's been a lot of mistakes that's been made and it's been gnawing at you like you know because of just the spiritual beating that you've been going through you're tired of the chaos and you're tired of all of the drama and the confusion and all of that stuff like that and it's finally been illuminated illuminated to you and you've seen the signs and you realize that it's time for you to yeah to move forward and unlock the door to something better and something greater i feel like the, i mean the you were allowing the shit to come into your life and you finally are able to see that now because in the past like you act like you were blind to this shit like you didn't see it what's on the other side of this door it's like choices this the doorway this is choices you have the choice to walk away in or and or to allow this into your life the gentleman you have the choice to unlock this. Do you understand? This is like Pandora's box. You guys have been. You've seen the way. You've seen the light. You've seen everything that you need to see. Like you've witnessed the signs. You've witnessed the miracle of God pulling you out of the situation. And allowing you to rebirth yourself again. The sun also represents rebirth to me. A brand new day. You've seen it before. So it's like. It's up to you. It's up to you. If you are going to continue to. Ex go through these conflicts. Be controlled by your passions. Being controlled by your desires. Being controlled by your temptation. That this man is to you. That's what this man is to you. Is this temptation. So it's up to you. 
you can stay in this place of this stress and this worry and always this is anxiety do you understand what i'm saying because you're letting your desires and this is temptation this is like your sexual urges are attached to chaos and suffering and it's like the, the, the same problem, the same mistakes. You keep making it over and over and over again. But you have the right and you have the choice to decide if you are going to unlock Pandora's box just to get to this. If this is worth this. You understand? Like, that's it. I know this is just your first love, but it's not your last. Do you understand? Surrender to change. All great art contains at the center contemplation. You have to, this is choice, knowing, opening and closing doors. You understand? This may be you knowing what's on the other side of this door and locking that door and walking away from it from eternity because you know what's on both ends of this door, but you have to make you have to make a conscious choice to want better. Do you understand? Because at the end of the day, you're the one that's out here in the streets looking like this. You, not nobody else. I'd rather look like this girl right here at the Nine of Pentacles. I ain't trying to be no Empress in reverse. I ain't trying to be no Two of Swords in reverse. And I damn sure ain't trying to be in the star, the star in reverse, not knowing my true self and not knowing my faith and not knowing my worth. You have to set a boundary within yourself. Knowing, okay, like, I like this, but it's just not good for me every time that I go here, you know? Every time I go here, it's the same old bullshit. Past lives. Past lives. It's the same. It's the same shit. This is the moon card. It's like, are you going to continue to let the past life affect you? Or are you going to have some peace and harmony finally come into your life? Hmm. You going to continue to fight? Or are you going to participate with spirits so they can help you solidify a new foundation for you? It's like... You going back and forth within yourself. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Almond Joy's got nuts and mounds don't. You understand what I'm saying? I feel like it's an inner struggle. It's an inner battle within yourself. It's an inner struggle. It's an inner battle within yourself. It's like intuitively you are searching and you want peace and harmony. But it's such a battle. You fighting with yourself to kind of. Stop venturing back to this past life situation because it's 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 hard to purge it. I feel like it's um it's like some level of toxic addiction to this shit. I don't know, but it's like you're fighting within yourself, but within the four walls of your mind. It's like you're participating to the best of your ability to do what it is that God is wanting you to do to kind of let this shit go. But it's like. God is giving you the justice in your favor, but not without checking you too. You understand? God needs you to participate with him if you want him to bring what it is that you really want into your life. You got to stop acting like you're blind and like you don't see what it is that you're doing if you want to be successful. You got to commit to it. Do you understand that star in reverse? You can't commit half-ass or say that you're going to commit, but then... Want to act like you don't know what you're doing and you're not cleaning yourself up. God don't mess no mess. You got to stop fighting yourself. You understand? Give me guidance for my singles. Give me guidance for my singles. Oh. That's too much. I will take this though. It says, get the ugly cry on. Let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. You need a good fucking cry. It's my singles. And then it says, shit could be much worse. Be fucking grateful, singles. Shit could be much worse. All right? So, 
and then at the top right here it says winning winning it says you got a good shit growing don't ruin that shit let's go ahead and put that right there you understand so you guys just need to get a grip a little bit my singles you understand i feel like you guys need to get your emotions together you guys need to get your emotions together, especially for my ones that got children and shit like that. Stop being controlled by this temptation. And that's all it is. It's like you guys keep getting tempted by your past life and shit like that. And that's exactly what the fuck that shit is. It's your past life. How can you move forward if you keep being tempted and you fight within yourself to, to let some shit go from the past that ain't serving you? Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not serving you. Give me my um my singles guidance and love. This wants to fall out. Okay. It says, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Wait, you understand? Like, don't be so hard on yourself in regards to love. Like, allow nature to take its course. I need you to stop battling within yourself about this past life shit, this shit in the past. I feel like some of you guys still are curious to know what's going on with your ex. And you know what I'm saying? Why things didn't work out or and like I said, sometimes you, you, some of you guys might have children with each other and you guys have to go through that battle and y'all might be dealing with some shit in court. It's making you feel uncomfortable. But you got to do what you got to do. Wait and don't rush into love. Just allow shit to like happen naturally. You understand what I'm saying? And allow nature to take this course because you still need to... It's still a fight that you're battling deep within yourself and you need to fully come to a place of completion and harmony and move past this past life events and participate all hands on deck with what spirit is trying to do for you in regards to your life and in love. And once you fully on balance and on point, everything will be the way it should be. And like it says, just get that shit out, cry, purge, get that shit out, you winning and things can be much worse. Just be patient. You understand what I'm saying? And from what I'm looking at right here with this Empress in reverse and all shit, you're not even together yet. You need to pull yourself together. I don't need to see you here. What is this? The strength card, okay? The strength. You need to have strength. You need to have courage. And you see her pulling that sword out. That is you. You guys are the queen of swords. You need to know without a shadow of a doubt who you are, your ability, and what you stand for. And don't ever move from that. The strength card is someone able to control any level of temptation. Nothing can tempt them. They know exactly their worth, and they know what they stand for, and they're not budging, and they will cut motherfuckers out if they need to, if they ain't acting right. Do you understand what I'm saying? She controls shit. She's on top. She controls shit. Do you understand? This Eight of Cups, you guys are battling within, within each other. You need to have strength to control that temptation and that urge to keep wanting to go back to your past. Look at this card of what's in your past. Look what he doing. That's what you trying to go back to? I don't like that energy. I don't like that energy. I don't like that energy. You understand what I'm saying? You need to control your your desire to keep wanting to go back and fight with your past. Because I don't like the energy of that guy. Like, look at this. This what you going back to? You like to be controlled like that? You like abusive relationships? Like, that's what the fuck that looked like to me. What was that? Did something flip over? Yes, it did. What is this? The King of Cups. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, that looks fun. Ooh. The Death card. Y'all might have been dealing with a Cancer. I always think the King of Cups is a Cancer, but um, the Cancer, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio most definitely could have been a Scorpio because you got the Death card here. Y'all could have been dealing with a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. But it looks like you guys kind of just need to put the rest, like, whatever it is, whatever type of emotion, whatever type of temptation that you have been playing with in your mind of going back to this King of Cups. And I really do feel like it's, what is it about sex? Because this person knows how to sex you good. Y'all would, y'all have a good sexual relationship or something like that. But this person controls you emotionally. This person holds back their emotions from you and then... 
is very emotionally manipulative and controlling to you and everything like that. Like, you need to bury that shit and just be done with it. You need to bury it and stop trying to, un you know, you need to stop trying to unearth that. Where else I'm going? I think this is the last spread for my singles. Give me guidance in regards to this. The shrimp. And the cups in reverse. The king of cups. And the death card. Yeah, you need to bury that. Having the strength to walk away and not look back anymore. Like, regardless of how good the sex was. Like, the mature man. Main man. You want a mature man. Someone that's only going to be yours. Yeah. You, ha it's, you have to. If, if you want the pathway to a man that's going to be mature. And that's going to be yours and only yours. A mature man. Your main man. Your only man. You understand what I'm saying? Someone that already done been there, done it, they got that shit out of their system, and they just want to be focused on you. Or vice versa, you know what I'm saying? You, um, Libra men are on a path to being the mature man, and you don't want to be out there in the streets. You just want someone that's focused on you. You understand what I'm saying? You're going to have to let go of that Scorpio, that Cancer, or that Pisces. You're going to have to have strength and to control your temptation and your urge to keep wanting to go back to something in the past. You need to bury it and let it go and release it. That's the only way that you're going to get to this pathway of this mature man and this main man. That's it. But he, but he, that's all folks like that's literally it now let's get into it for my couples you're going to have to let that shit go and you got to rebuild yourself you got to rebuild yourself because right now the way it stands is you're not even comfortable with things are you're finally starting to see the light and unfortunately it came by way of someone judging your character telling you about yourself and I don't think that it was something that was very easy to hear you know what I'm saying I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that probably clicked off of this video because that shit is not easy to hear that you need to clean yourself up like yes I'm giving you what you deserve you know what I'm saying because you know yes yeah, shit was fucked up but at the same time you don't allow shit to beat you like this and you sit there and act like you don't see your part in it look again look at how he's looking at you no, that's not how it works. Give me guidance for my couples. Okay. So for my couples, we got... <laughs> it says, grow the fuck up. Tantrums are for babies. <laughs> it says you need some help. Ask for it. Hire it. Make it happen. We can't be all things. So. It says this includes you. Love the one you're with. So it means. So far what I'm getting I feel like there's someone that could possibly be um, acting a little spoiled here. And it has to look at both sides of the fence. Has to look at how your partner feels and also has to look at how you feel. And I feel like your partner may be asking you to step up and to mature and possibly to, to, to clean up the house more, to bring more of their self to the table like you're honestly not being the star that you can you're not operating into the highest part of the ability that you can you i mean you're not it's right here clear as day on the table and you're acting like you're blind to it and then it says not for you them do that shit for you and then it says forgive i feel like you're being told that you need to grow up and you need to step up 
in regards to your work step up to how you taking care of the kids how you taking care of the house like how you doing a lot of things i feel like this person um you expect a lot from this person and they expect a lot from you too and it's like if you want them to do their part you need to do your part too and it's like and like they said if you need help you need to grow the fuck up and ask for it you know what i'm saying and it says that you need to love the one that you're with and love yourself too. spend some time on yourself like clean yourself up take better care of yourself I just feel like it's kind of hard for you guys to hear this, but at the same time, some of y'all need to hear this. Some of y'all need to hear this because you want things to get better in the house, but the house ain't comfortable. This Empress in reverse isn't, I'm trying to tell y'all, it's not a good card. Not in the standards of the way women should be carrying themselves and things like that. It's, it's not good. This is romance. It says Cupid Arrow has stripes. I definitely, for, for the couples, I feel like there's a lot of love here. But you need to get yourself together. You need to get yourself together. Like, when your man come home, he want his... Listen, I feel, I feel like this man has even been trying to go to work. And he don't got no clean uniforms because you ain't washed the clothes. Like, all of the clothes are dirty. All of the dishes are dirty in the house. Like... None of the kids hair is done like you don't be getting up making breakfast like you don't be doing this shit around the house like you should be doing like you don't even get up and do your hair and everything like that. And this person is tired, is tired of fucking arguing with you about that. Not only that, but you need to go out and work and do something and be successful and it's like you need to grow the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Like, like for real, like I'm sorry. Weaponize your flaws. I just heard that. Weaponize your flaws. I feel like just some some level of laziness or something like that. Like you need to weaponize your flaw. Like, like whatever it is that these people are getting on you about. Whoever this judge of character is. If y'all could be in court, it could be your man. Or it could be a woman judging you or whoever. But at the end of the day, if they're saying that shit, surrender to change. Because all great art contains a center of contemplation. I don't feel like these people are saying this shit to you for no good reason. It's just because they're being mean. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. Okay. Oh, the Ace of Cups. Yeah, there's love here. There is love here in this relationship. You guys definitely do love each other. I just feel like he wants you to... Look, he's trying to, and look, he's trying to carry you. He's trying to carry you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, this person loves you. I just feel like you're just having to deal with some harsh words right here. The magician, they believe that you have the ability to change this, to do whatever it is that you put your energy into. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, you could pull a rabbit out of a motherfucking hat if you wanted to. If you wanted to, but you have to want to do it listen you gotta let go of shit that is not helping keeping the relationship balanced do you understand what i'm saying and if you gotta go back to work go get, go back to work if you need to put a little bit more time and effort into your look and your appearance then do it do you understand what i'm saying because whatever it is that you're not doing is holding back the sexual intimacy do you see how this man wants to you know what i'm saying like at the end of the day this, and I'm honest, I'm being honest, I'm being honest to God. Like, this is somebody that when this man comes home, you still sitting in the house in the same fucking clothes that you don't have on all day. And it's like, you ain't even take a fucking shower yet. And it's like, if you still sit in the same pajamas that you were in yesterday when y'all went to bed and this man is coming home at six o'clock, the house still ain't clean, nothing. He not just going to want to hop in the bed and just suck and fuck all on you because you still dirty. Do you understand? Empress in reverse. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Do you understand what I'm saying? The house is not clean. You're not clean. The dishes are not like I need y'all to come on. Wake up. Do you understand what is this? The Queen of Cups. Do you look? Do you see how he want each? Do you see what he wants to do? He don't have no problem with your weight 
or nothing. I feel like it has a lot to do with your appearance and hygiene and keeping the house clean so that the uh, romance can keep you know what I'm saying? And you got to grow up and help this motherfucker by being the best that you can be. Being the empress in the reverse. Being someone that when someone is talking to you and trying to tell you the things that is going wrong in the commitment, in the relationship. And you act like you blind and you don't want to see it and you don't understand what they're saying. And you're not willing to step this shit up for your own self to be the star that you are. It's You're, you're, you're never going to you're never going to amount to where they need you to be at at the end of the table. They need you to bring stuff to the table to show your worth and that you value yourself and that you're willing not to do it for them, but to do it for yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that's what this person is telling you. That's what this judge is. That's what this Libra scale is, is you being balanced as well. Do you understand? Let me see what else we got here. What is this? The two of Pentacles in the reverse. You have to stop whatever it is that you're doing that is not serving you. You really need to stop doing it and focus on the love that you have in front of you. Because that's what this is saying right here. To focus on the love that it has in front of you. Because at the end of the day, I feel like you haven't been receiving the energy and the attention that you used to get from this person. And it's because you haven't. You haven't really been putting no effort in the work into yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? And this situation reminds your spouse or whoever is of their mother. You know, like maybe their mother used to keep their house dirty or something like that. It's just like it's a trigger for them. It's a trigger for them. And they don't feel like in their household that they want to come in their household and have to compete and argue and fight with you guys about clothes, about the cleanliness of the house, about dinner. Do you understand? I, I don't want, I don't want stupid shit like that to affect the passion and the love that's here. Because at the end of the day, this is the ace of wands. Like this person loves you and you love him. Look, look, look. Y'all do love each other and y'all can restart things all over again. But you have to look this hierophant. You have to stand up and uphold the terms of your marriage. You know, I understand what I'm saying? And and it's to have and to hold and to take care and to provide. You can't lose sight of what it took to get this man or to get this woman. You still have to do that. You still have to take care of yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? You still have to do that. You still have to honor your relationship and stuff like that. And you can't not do what you're supposed to do in the house and then complain because things ain't going right in your house. You understand? Like, um, I'm putting this on a woman because that's what I'm seeing here. And this is someone that really don't want to hear the truth and stuff like that. And give me guidance. How does the person that Libra is dealing with, how do they feel if they could just... Come out and tell Libra how they truly feel. What what would they say? I still remember the good times we shared. This person still remembers the good times. This person still loves you. They just want you to. They want you to love you. They remember how you looked when you first met. When they first met you. How y'all used to go out. How you used to do things and take care of yourself. And they want you to grow the fuck back up. They want you to grow the fuck back up. And be the person that they know that you can be, man. Because they love you. They wouldn't have married you if they didn't love you. I don't know where you lost your way, but somewhere you lost your way, Libra. Anyway, y'all, this has been your reading. I love you. Um, and this reading is a little bit different than um, the other reading. That other reading was wild, especially if you were expecting, if y'all holding any type of secrets, y'all go check that out. But anyway, this has been y'all reading. Y'all click that like button. I love you. Peace.